Hello. A common question is, are there cybersecurity entry-level jobs? And if there are entry-level cybersecurity jobs, where do I even start? The answer to that question is yes. In this video, I'll be going over entry-level cybersecurity jobs, what skills you need for them, and what some of the daily duties will be, and also where to get started. I spent some time on Reddit in the train of thought on Reddit, just so I understand the masses. You'll hear over and over that there are no real entry level cybersecurity jobs. There are no cloud computing entry level jobs. There are no IT entry level jobs. And it's kind of just this narrative. Maybe it was true that there were no entry level cybersecurity jobs 10 years ago. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in tech. So go ahead and smash that like button below. So let's get into the first entry level cybersecurity position and that is going to be cybersecurity sales. I actually think this is one of the greatest places that you can start and start making money and also learning about the business side of cybersecurity. Some things that you're going to be doing in cybersecurity sales is generating new leads through sales calls, meetings, and prospecting of local medium-sized businesses and clients within an IT security environment. You must be able to convert leads into sales, qualify new leads for different cybersecurity products, demonstrate a knowledge of cybersecurity and industry, and engage new clients and building a relationship with them. And the best place to get started with cybersecurity sales is through course careers. I do have a video that goes deeper into depth on a step-by-step -step process on landing a cybersecurity sales job right here. But course careers essentially has partnerships with various companies, including cybersecurity companies that can guarantee you an interview when you go through their program. I do have a coupon code, ANES50, which will also be below in the link. Essentially, people have gotten a cybersecurity sales job within 30 days. Now, this may not be typical, but I definitely think you could do it fairly quickly from what I am hearing. The second one on my list is becoming a SOC analyst. And now this is essentially the first line of defense for a security operation center. And a lot of times they're going to be triaging, talking with customers, going through emails, sending tickets to tier two, tier three. They'll be reviewing security events and network infrastructure and responding to threats. They'll be following well-defined procedures and methodologies. So keyword here is well-defined. These usually have policies and procedures in place so you know exactly what to do when you receive a certain type of ticket. You might be conducting network security investigations, providing findings to management, tracking, updating, and closing tickets along with sending the tickets to someone else, answering the SOC phone in a professional manner, provide system performance and monitoring. And a great place to get started with that would be Black Hills Information Security as they have a pay what you can SOC analyst training course, very good. My next entry level cybersecurity job is a security auditor, and this falls under governance, risk, and compliance. Um, I have worked as a security auditor, and I firmly believe that this is a great entry level position or early career position, but you can become more advanced in security auditing where you're actually running the engagement. In a day-to-day -day life, as a security auditor looks like facilitation of audits, including ensuring all requested information is provided to auditors, uh, complete regulatory compliance reviews, audits, self-assessments, and systematic reviews of information, support governance, risk compliance, and security related um, projects as assigned, so GRC. Evaluating internal controls, communications, performing risk assessments, and maintenance of documentation of procedures, policies. And for this security auditor job, you're going to need a really good basis of like laws and regulations such as HIPAA, SOC, GDPR, ISO, and you're going to really need strong attention to detail because sometimes you will be going off a checklist and making sure controls are in place and takes extreme attention to detail and a very methodical mind that I do not have. <laughs> My next entry level job is a digital forensic analyst. Essentially, digital forensics is used to gain additional evidence after a crime has been committed to support charges against a suspect or prevent further crimes from happening. So you're going to be applying knowledge in tools and methodologies. You're going to be following the chain of custody, collecting, preserving, examining, and generating reports for different 
evident. And this is a great one, especially if you want to work in law enforcement, although forensics also is really big with incident responder. There are a lot of government jobs where you can just become a digital forensic analyst. Um, and a lot of them are entry level and they pay pretty well. My next entry level job, and which is extremely hot right now, is an identity access management analyst. Essentially, as an IM analyst, you're going to be provisioning or deprovisioning user accounts and resources, along with giving people the right privileges to what they need. This is a very underrated job because I have been at places where there were there was no one monitoring like who got privileges to what so anyone could like access confidential information when they they shouldn't have been doing that not a good thing to do so as an IAM analyst, these skills aren't that hard to do. And there are a lot of variations of job titles, but you may be working with single sign-on and making sure people have the right privileges or troubleshooting the SSO. Some of your daily duties could just be deleting and creating accounts when people are new to job or deleting the uh, accounts when they leave. You could be making sure that privileges are correct in the groups. You could be cleaning up different accounts and users, ensuring compliance with different privilege levels or checking people's security clearances or, or things like that. I was going through the job descriptions and a lot of the job descriptions are very vague and confusing. So if you go through them, don't let that discourage you. There are plenty of IAM entry level jobs. My next entry level cybersecurity job is an incident responder. And this is different than a SOC analyst as they are going to be the ones actually responding to security events and conducting analysis of the threats where SOC analysts tier one are usually the one triaging the tickets and then kind of giving the tickets to other teams oftentimes, but incident responders actually work hands-on with the detection systems and vulnerability analysis tools and really try to figure out what to do and contain the incident. Also, being an incident responder is really fast-paced and oftentimes they're on, say, a C-CERT team to help mitigate the impact of a security threat to any organization. And they also are the first responders after a breach has occurred. And again, this is kind of like borderline with incident responder. It depends on the company, but these are separate roles, but some companies may lump them into one role. So always look out for that. My next entry level cybersecurity job is an IT GRC specialist. GRC is the backbone of cybersecurity and it is a great place to start as you don't have to be as technically inclined to start in GRC. And you can develop slowly the technical abilities. Essentially, you will be auditing new information systems. You'll be working with an internal team to identify and improve existing policies and processes. You will be managing and maintaining IT audits, program control. You will be collecting necessary security and audit information from third parties, analyzing and recommending control implementation. You will be assisting in designing, creating, and maintaining risk-based metrics. Sounds like a lot. And a great place to start with this is with Gerald Auger's GRC Masterclass. Uh, I have been through it. It is a great overview of GRC to see if GRC is for you. My next entry level cybersecurity job is a junior cloud security associate or administrator. There are entry level cloud positions. I saw a lot of these positions at AWS ranging from 67,000 to 117,000. You'll be working with say, hardware security modules, identity and access concepts such as SSO and SAML, federated identity, RBAC and authentication authorization. You'll be working on different tools they have for the security. So for AWS, you might be using CloudTrail to monitor traffic um, or AS config to make sure the configs are right. You may be utilizing configuration management tools such as Ansible and all of that fun stuff. And so that concludes my entry level cybersecurity jobs. Do you know of any other jobs in the field? Uh, leave a comment below and I do have an entire playlist on how to get started in cybersecurity. So go check that out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.